Hi, beautiful. Thank you for being here. You already know what's going on, obviously, because I title things. There are titles upon these YouTube videos. Uh, ouch. <laughs> Hurt. We're watching some people use my curtain bang tutorial to cut their own curtain bangs And if you've been following me for a while You would know that these videos scare me the most because I always feel if they don't do a great job I have failed as a tutorialist. So hopefully things go swimmingly today and these people end up with great curtain bangs Oh, I also have new merch. Oh did I accidentally bleach my hoodie and my sweatpants in the washing machine? No, that's on purpose. Um, yeah, so we have new bleach wash matching live your extra life pants and hoodie and they're so f comfortable and I'm obsessed. If you would like to grab your own, they are linked below or at xmonohair.com. So let's see if these people can follow my directions and end up with spectacular curtain bangs. Let's do it. Our first contestant today in the competition, if you can follow Brown Mama's tutorial correctly, is Tina Young. And this is called Cutting My Own Curtain Bangs with the Help of Brad Mondo. I heard he's not a real hairdresser. So hopefully he can somehow teach you how to do it. I wanna cut like a bang that's a little bit thicker and then something that can kind of like frame my face. She's so pretty. Please tell me she doesn't do anything bad to her bangs. I need some hair cutting scissors and then I need some clips to clip my hair back, comb. I'm gonna need to wet my hair so I need like a bottle of water and then like a hair dryer and a round brush. The most important thing here is to just listen to me and observe before actually trying it on your own hair. Cause I see some of you guys out there just going, oh yeah, I heard what he said. Step one, wet the hair, dampen it because that's going to weigh it down and kind of like straighten everything. We're gonna take the bangs back about two or three inches up to you, depending on how thick you want them. I am going to take these down to about the end of her eyebrow. I don't know if I'm gonna go that thick. <sighs> I'm starting to sweat. I want you guys to end up with a great result. I think I need to grow more. She's doing a phenomenal job at parting her hair. This step, honestly, can be the hardest for some people. I think that's the ring finger and the thumb. He's holding his scissors oh. like this. <laughs> I'm so sorry, you guys. I actually didn't think that that would be difficult. But now that I'm thinking about it, it probably is. So if you can't hold scissors like that, <laughs> don't. I wasn't thinking about that one. I'm sorry. You can always go shorter. You can't go longer. So I'm going to start off a little bit longer than that, maybe right at the nose. And I am going to cut across. We're going to snip. <laughs> Here we go. The first snip. <gasps> Yo, she's getting rid of a lot of length. I'm going to try my best to cut something decent. Those cuts were beautiful. They were nice and long cuts. You weren't taking little snips off. It was beautiful. It was ch -ch -ch. This is not very straight, so let me just fix it. They are a little uneven. The biggest pointer I have here is if you go and fix your fringe after you cut it, do not cut too much. One side starts getting shorter and then the other side longer and you go back and forth until your hair is like all the way up here. So we're gonna part the hair. Then we're gonna over direct the hair across the other side opposite of where the part is. We're also gonna make sure our fingers are parallel to the section up here. So you're gonna get something like that. Oh. Okay, so this is when it gets a little bit more technical and a little bit more difficult. So hopefully she can handle it. And now he combs this section across. Yeah. Yes. Just to hold it like that in between my fingers. And now all we have to do is cut off those longer pieces. So I'm gonna hold it across. That is looking choppy. It does not look choppy. That looks so good. Oh, it's a good day. It's a good day to be Brad Monday. So again, kind of brushing it over, combing it over. I mean, it, this side is a little bit shorter than this side. It looks good enough. Fringe are sisters, not twins, okay? And then the two end pieces. And make sure they are the same length. Okay, so I just gotta double check my work again, grab the two end pieces, bring them together. I'm just gonna snip a little bit. I guess it looks kinda even. You guess? It looks dope. I am now gonna just blow dry her hair for you. Okay, so I'm just gonna style the rest of my hair and then we're gonna blow dry these and try to make it look more like 
coat and bangs. I can't wait to see her hair dry. These are gonna look so good on her. So now with this fringe part, I'm just going to use my round brush and then just like blow dry it and kind of just twist and turn my brush as I dry. But first I just need to make sure it's all going straight because I did have a center part. That is what it's looking like. It's just very choppy, huh? I think I do need to like blend it in these side bits. How is she not freaking out excited right now? Because I'm freaking out excited. Oh, look at that on the side. I'm freestyling this because I remember I did this with the other bang. Snip, 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 snip. Oh my God, that's a lot of hair. Okay, we're adding face framing layers. I think in my tutorial I said that's the next step, but I believe she stopped watching me at this point. She's like, I got the confidence now. I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna do this myself. You're doing the right thing, so we're okay. I'm just gonna hold my scissors like this and then just trim a little bit just to make them a little bit thinner. It's looking a little bit, a bit too heavy, just slightly. Okay, we're point cutting. Okay, hairstylist. This is like, I need a stylist daily to make it look good. And I'm not gonna lie, it's a little bit annoying already because it's like in my face and I've got lashes on and so when the, when the bangs sort of like hit my lashes it is a little bit annoying there's moments where I love it and then there's moments where I kind of regret cutting it but I just have to accept that it has a mind of its own overall the tutorial was actually really easy to follow first of all sad that you don't love them <laughs> they look amazing second of all thank you I'm glad it was easy to follow and third of all let me check if I put in a portion about thinning them this will slightly separation on the ends of your hair but again just be careful don't cut yourself tina you stopped watching the video you need to watch the rest in order to thin the hair out you're supposed to elevate the hair point cut into it release the hair it would have give you so much great layering inside of the fringe i show you how to connect the fringe to the rest of your hair i knew i didn't miss that next time finish the video okay or else it's not gonna come out absolutely perfect okay great job tina thank you for sharing that video and thank you for making that video let's move on to the next contestant up next we have a video by keisha mua and this is called Called cutting curtain bangs with Brad Mondo. Brad Mondo. Such a hard time saying my own name. Brad Mondo. Brad Mondo. Brad Monduki. Everybody loves the good middle part these days. We all know those are also very trendy. We're gonna take the bangs back about two or three inches. I want a noticeable difference, so we're gonna go for a thicker bang. I love the wrists. I love it, and I love a noticeable difference. So you should have this yeah, little triangle clean. section right here. Does she look symmetrical? I think so. Those parts, spectacular. Every part of this is very important, but like getting the starting parting right is really a make or break sometimes. You can always go shorter, you can't go longer, all right? So I'm gonna start off a little bit longer than that, maybe okay, right at the nose. And Brad went at nose level. I'm gonna go to the middle of my lips. She did that. We've cut this much hair. Oh my God. That was a great cut though. It was, it seemed like it was very straight. So that's good. Parallel to the parting. And then I hold my fingers parallel to the parting. All we have to do is cut off those longer pieces. We are going to get a beautiful angle. We're going to take this, pull it over and make sure my fingers are parallel. I want to show you guys what I'm cutting, but at the same time, I want to see what I'm doing. I want to see the moment of truth. I better get a beautiful edge. I mean, what is that? She didn't over direct enough. The more you over direct, the more you're gonna get that shorter length to a longer length. It's gonna be more severe. It's gonna be a nice slope down the more you over direct the opposite side. So the less you over direct, the less of a slope. I should have said that in the video. Parallel fingers. I am now gonna just blow dry her hair for you. Yeah! She is short. <laughs> Why do you guys keep regretting it and you keep saying your hair is short? I mean, I guess it's short. It's definitely shorter. It's a curtain bang, you know? And cut into the hair. Um, I'm not gonna lift up. I'm just gonna have to do it like this because I can't see. <laughs> oh my God, guys. I think I cut way too much over there. They're still looking good though. I think it'll be fine. I like to blend my hair in with the rest. I'm just gonna take it like that. Follow the end of the fringe down to the bottom of her hair. Okay. I'm sweating. 
I'm sweating, but that was really good. So it feels like there's so much more hair. I'm so proud of you guys. Like, this is so good. Just the fact that you're so confidently cutting your hair following my guide makes me really excited. You can teach people how to do their own hair. I'm gonna quickly try to style it myself and I will be back to show you guys the final product. Oh. I definitely do like it, like more messier. It's a little shorter than what I want it to be. I wish it kind of like scooped down a little bit more over here to like hit my cheeks, but that is okay. In terms of the shape, I think I got it pretty spot on. So his instructions were nice and clear. That was a glow up right before my eyes with that cut. Oh my God. Just say if you're gonna try this yourself and you want something a little longer, definitely cut below your lips not really mad i think that the next time around i do this i'll be better at it oh my god it really accentuates her bone structure brings more attention to her eyes like she just looks great beautiful job and thank you for following my tutorial up next we have a video by mia tyler and this is called diy curtain bangs followed by mono's tutorial and da -da 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 -da. Doesn't seem like a great title. Seems like you messed something up. I don't like that. I've actually been looking at my hair length and was thinking it's time for a trim. My gorgeous pal Brad Mondo made it seem so easy. So we're gonna be watching his tutorial today. I've watched other tutorials and I just feel like he was just straight to the point, super easy. Just follow these steps, boom, you're done. That's really sweet. Cause behind the scenes, I sit there writing these steps for these tutorials for hours and then I practice it one time on a different mannequin to make sure I get it right and make sure everything is super easy to follow because sometimes like the way a hairdresser thinks is not the same way as a person who's not a hairdresser. So I try to make it as simplified as possible. So it really is so nice of you to say that. Thank you. First thing he did was wet the hair, bring it all forward and then separate it. But I already have a middle part. So what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna perfect my middle part and then go ahead and wet the front pieces of my hair. And We're gonna take the bangs back about you two might. or three inches. So he's talking about the part, um, depending on like how thin you want your bangs to be or how thick, that's how far back you're gonna go. I'm not gonna go too far back. I am going to take these down to about the end of her eyebrow. I drew my eyebrows on, so they're a little longer than they naturally are but i'm gonna try to follow my natural like where my natural eyebrow ends i'm really happy you guys are using my tutorial but adjusting it to fit what you want i'm gonna definitely make sure i say that next time okay now that brad mondo has this out here looking silly he said if i twist it should give me like a little triangle and then this other side i don't know if it's as straight it's a little bit different but it doesn't need to be perfect you guys not everything needs to be completely identical on both sides nobody's gonna notice. So this is a great start. You can always go shorter, you can't go longer. All right, so I'm gonna start off a little bit longer than that, right at the nose. He said he went up to her nose. I feel like that's a little too short for me, so I'm gonna go a little underneath the nose. I might have cut them a little bit short in that tutorial. Maybe just go a little bit longer, which I said that, so it's fine. I'm glad she's gonna go longer. I think the under the nose would be a little bit too short for a lot of people. First snip, here we go. That's a good length. Oh, sh God. <laughs> Okay, we're at the more complex part. Here we go. Can she do it right? We're gonna take like this section and go diagonal. So go across, but make sure that it's like our fingers are parallel with the part. So if that makes sense, like. So you're gonna get something like that, where it goes from short to long. Okay, I see the short to long. Um, One of the hairs is like too short. Don't cut that. Don't cut that. Is she gonna cut that? Give me a little bit more or else you're not gonna get that Slope, if it's not over-directed enough. Cut those pieces. Uh, Say less. We're doing it. Okay, so this is how this side is looking. Um, It's hard to tell. Oh. But there is a little bit of like a... It actually doesn't look bad. Side back, I'm gonna try to do this side, which I cut a little bit more off of this side. Like I didn't realize I went too far down. So I cut a little bit more and I'm gonna try to cut the same amount on this side. Ooh, okay technique. She's using the comb instead of her fingers. That's totally fine to do. She's using the comb to keep the hair there and then cutting the extra pieces off. Yes, girl, yes. She's getting in her groove and I like it. He said to basically just bring both sides forward or both like pieces of both sides forward. They look a little bit uneven. To make sure they're the same length. So I'm gonna do that. I think he mentioned to do that before, but I didn't think I needed to. And now I'm realizing that I'm gonna need to. Uh, they're pretty even. I think the rest of the tutorial is him just like styling the hair. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go style my hair and be right back so you guys can see how it looks. 
Next time, I'm gonna have to put a disclaimer in the beginning of the video to watch my entire video. You need to follow the whole thing. You need to do the thinning, you need to thin the bangs out or else they're gonna be way too heavy. She's not gonna do that, is she? Ta-da! One, they weren't even at all. It was just so choppy. So I trimmed like one side a little bit more and realized that like when I put them back down, now this side was shorter than this side. So then I had to go on this side and trim. This is what I'm saying, you guys. You, if you start trimming, you're gonna end up with one side shorter, the other side shorter, the other side shorter, and you're gonna have to go back and forth until the bangs go up here. They don't look bad at all, don't get me wrong, but they only look nice when my hair is styled, which isn't all the time. Oh, okay, first of all, they look amazing. Second of all, you definitely need to point cut, you need to thin them out. That is what's gonna make them sit nice when they're dry. You need to get rid of that bulk at the ends or else it's not gonna look good when your hair is just naturally sitting and naturally drying. Um, you need to customize it. They're not as bad as I thought they were gonna be. I thought they were gonna be a lot worse, so pat myself on the back for that one. They look so good. Great job. Well, that was a lot more um, exciting than scary, honestly. That was super fun to watch. I'm glad you guys ended up with great looks and I'm glad I could help you out with that. Y'all look sickening. If you guys like to follow me anywhere else, here are my handles. This is also my hair care brand and my color brand. You can check it out on Instagram. If you want to check out any of my hair color or hair products, you can do so at xmodelhair.com. It is linked below. You can also, of course, shop my new merch. Live your extra life. <laughs> Today's Instagram shout out goes to Saskia. And this says, hi Brad, I really need a new cut and color. Do you have any ideas? Greetings from Germany. We love Germany. So wow, your hair is incredible. Um, That curl pattern. Ugh. Stunning. I really like what you have going on. But honestly, if you were gonna do anything, I would just lighten it up a little bit, like put more highlights in there. It looks like your hair's just naturally highlighted. I think you need some like dimensional highlights going through there. It'll really bring out your curl pattern. It'll look phenomenal. And also just maybe layering it a little bit more and cutting off like an inch. I think that'll be perfect for you. That's all for today, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.